Trap is a Josh Hornet mega blockbuster thriller movie. Well, he showed the world he is the best master eliminator psychopath who just got outsmarted by Granny from Murder She Wrote. Tonight on Murder She Wrote. We will dive into the movie review of The Trap, where how he made the whole police department look completely stupid and almost pulled off a disappearing act. Tell me how to leave and one piece, I don't want to be yours anymore. Directed by M. Night Shalaman and the cast of the movie are as follows. Josh Hartnett as Cooper, Salika as Lady Raven, Ariel Donahue as Riley, Haley Mills as Dr. Grant, and Alyssa Peel as Riley Mom. Or you recognize her from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Scott Pilgrim, kick your teeth in! What? The movie starts off as Cooper being father of the year as he takes his daughter to Lady Raven concert, which is her favorite singer. It's literally the best day of my life. Riley's so pumped that she basically ignores half the things Cooper said to her like your typical sister or daughter, if anyone has one. She trashed him because he does not know the lady's words and meaning. In a nice way, she tells him he's too old. Mm, sorry, Dad, you're too old. We are about to dive in and point out different viewpoints of view which make this movie actually pretty good. Cooper, Lady Raven, and Granny. Let's start with the man of the movie, Cooper. He is a father of two and Mary who is a deranged psychopath. While being father of the year, he gets paranoid due to a sombre amount of police force at the concert and with tons of civilians. He asked this guy and find out what's actually going on. You know the butcher? Freaking nut job that goes around just chopping people up? Feds or whatever heard that he's gonna be here today. This whole concert? It's a trap. There's no way to get out of here. Cooper gets super paranoid to the point that he's trying to find his way out. However, Riley suspects her dad that he's being super suspicious. While Riley enjoying herself and having a good time at the concert, Cooper runs off multiple times to find information on who's running the operation and how to find a way out. He's taught to manipulate his way to get the police attention by pushing Lady down the stairs. Out of control. Gaining access, key access to unknown areas. You're acting weird. Freak accident is a kitchen. <laughs> and getting access behind the scenes to avoid getting caught. The fact that there are about 500 police officers in a movie, Cooper finds his way out with a bit of persuasion because he's using malignant tactics. He escapes the dumbest police in the world only to get outsmarted by Raven. Then, he outslits the police officers again only to let his guard down just a bit. He almost pulls it off but was suckered by his wife and super granny baiting him in a trap to catch him. Is he really trapped? Or is it part of his plan to outslip the dumbest police again? Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Lady Raven. Next is Raven. No, not the bird Raven. And definitely not the washed up WWE superstar Raven. One on one here on SmackDown. Lady Raven herself. Lady Raven is the main attraction of the concert. She actually can sing pretty good who has asthma. Not only she puts on the show for the audience, she is bold as hell. When Cooper needs to find a way out, he forced her hand by using some guy as leverage to get him out. Why Cooper had him in the basement? I guess he was mad that he did not get an Academy Award for his role in Oppenheimer. So Raven had Cooper and Roddy out to avoid the dumbest police officer. However, instead of letting him go, Raven gets bold and risk it all by going to the house trying to be the hero to catch the butcher. Raven gets even bolder by taking Cooper's phone to ask us for help, but was foiled temporarily. Then she tried to pull a psycho psychology with him and works like a child to the point that she escaped and becomes one of the heroes of the film. Lady Raven, I like your style, taking a risk to tape help take down the master manipulator psychopath. She's a damn hero is what she is, sis. That leaves. The police officer made a strong appearance to make sure the butcher does not escape in arena. But who is the mastermind behind everything? That's right, Granny. Her name is Dr. Grant, but Granny is what I'm going to call her. 
She kind of looks like Angela Lansbury from Murder, She Wrote. Away! Tonight on Murder, She Wrote. She's a profiler who has been tracking down murders and serial killers for years. Unlike the dumbest police officers in the Rita, she's pretty smart and knows exactly how the psychopath moves. She developed a plan to search every man, woman, and child to make sure no one escapes. Even though Cooper was one step ahead of her, she was right behind him and eventually used Cooper's wife as bait to catch him. Using civilians, position men all over the arena, and use a for psychology on him, she did her job by giving him a dose of electricity. You are one tough cookie. The movie is pretty good. Started off slow with the concept of picked up drastically due to the fact Cooper was in panic mode trying to escape and Granny was hot on his tail. The way Cooper was moving through the areas as as an item was very impressive considering the amount of security he had and trying to be father of the year. Oh, says father of the year. Oh. His character was phenomenal and was not a guy you can catch easily. He went from being father of the year. It's literally the best day of my life. To take his daughter to the concert, make sure she have a good time. To being manipulated of the year, how he moved there to get the police attention so he could sneak by him. A wizard at manipulation. And become a psychopath of the year was he tried to kill a couple of people to get out of a situation. Psychopath. Clearly he had issues which he has to be in control of everything. His plan was nearly flawless until he made one fatal mistake. Raven. Speaking of Lady Raven, that was bold of her for taking a risk like that knowing she put herself in danger. She was basically the monkey wrench in Cooper's plan to fly in the ointment. Bold, daring, and a hero to many, she made it happen. A thrilling ride of a movie that made you question how Cooper is going to escape the police, the dumbest police in the world, while getting his daughter out at the same time. The paranoid mind of a serial killer of how twisted and sick Cooper is to finish one last job. Although it was a pretty good movie, the ending just falls somewhat flat like a pancake. I will rank this movie as 7 out of 10. Let me know if you're going to see this movie or pass on this one. If you want to see more upcoming movie reviews, press the like, share, and subscribe button. I will see you in the next movie review. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs>